Alright, uh, I wanted to do a video that's basically about NSLOOKUP. Uh, so let's see what NSLOOKUP is and why why it's important <laughs> or why I, I use it. And so if you go to Wikipedia, and I'm literally just going to read read this, NSLOOKUP uh, means Name Server Lookup. And it is a network administration command line tool for querying domain name systems, DNS, to obtain the mapping between domain name and IP address or other DNS records. Okay, so what does that mean? Well, anytime you go to a website, and let's let's just say if I were to go to Clockwork, ClockworkWP.com. In the background, it does actually a decent amount of uh, lookup information. And so you say, hey, browser, take me to clockworkwp.com. It looks and says, OK, on my computer, what are we what are we using for DNS? And it will connect. Um, so here, <laughs> a little easier just to show you. So if I type in IP config, in here, this is going to tell me exactly what my IP address and things like that. It's not going to tell me my external IP address here, um, but if I do, I think I can go in here and do IP config slash all, and I think that gives you even more information. Now, this is probably showing MAC address and things like that, things that I probably don't want you to see, um, but uh, it's probably not the end of the world here. Um, so it does tell me here that my DHCP DHCP server, which is um, is is this IP address. And so when I say go to clockworkwp.com, it says, "Hey computer, what is my DHCP server?" And that is this IP address. And then it is running the DNS domain name server software basically and it says oh you need to know where clockwork wp is here it is it goes and hits an external server one of the root servers out there and returns it and um this works for windows you can just use um what command did i just run let's see uh, IP config. You ha we have those tools, but we have. I'm specifically going to do NS lookup. So in here, I can just type in NS lookup, and it can give me a little information. Um, I like to run on my Windows computer. I like to run Bash. So uh, I have the Windows subsystem uh, running. So I can go from the command line. I can go into Bash, and Bash is going to be what you're going to see on a Linux machine or on a Mac machine uh, to a certain extent. Um, so I'm just going to run NSLOOKUP here in, in Bash, and I'll show you what this can tell me. So if I type in NSLOOKUP clockworkwp.com, oh, I don't have that installed. Sudo. Wait, I just ran that. Oh, I misspelled. You have to spell look correctly. Boom. Okay. So I did NS lookup and it tells me what server I'm pulling that information from. And if I were to be migrating my site, uh, or for example, um, like today we, we migrated a site, but I forgot to grab a, a TXT record that I needed for mail. And I was like, uh oh how do I remember what that TXT record was? Well, we can specify here. We can say NSLOOKUP. Um, let me, let me, actually, I don't remember. I'm going to use this as an example. I'm going to do a who is clockwork WP real quick because I need to know what server. Okay, so we've got norm. All right, so I just needed to know what my server was. So if I type in NS lookup, it's going to return whatever my default uh, domain name server is. But I can be specific. I can say NS lookup 
and then which domain, and then I can say, hey, use norm.ns.cloudflare.com because that's my actual DNS server. So boom, it will say, hey, here's how you, here's what this specific server has for it. So if I have lost like a TXT record or, or something to that effect, we we can we can pull that up so let me do this real quick um i had a really good example of how to do this let's see if i can i think right here i specify type or actually we'll use the man man tools man ns lookup ah, ns lookup so this tells us how to use it in some of the we can specify here. So let's see, we can set things. I'm looking to specify the actual returns and exit. Oh, there's a way to specify your type. What type of records am I looking for? Okay, so type equals. So by default, it does an A record and then the IP version 6 record. Um, if I want to be more specific, let's say get a TXT record, I probably would do type equals TXT. So let's do that. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to type in NS lookup. And by the way, to go back and forth through my commands, I can just use my arrow keys. But I'm going to tell it to use NS lookup type equals TXT. So I'm NS lookup these type of records for this domain on this specific server. Hey, that didn't work. Let's see. Interesting. Let's, uh, I'm just looking in a lookup specific server. If there was a way to do this, I did it earlier today. Um, oh, query type. Okay, my bad. Ignore me. Query type. Dash query. Query type. That's probably hard to see, but it's ns lookup space dash query type equals txt and then the domain and then the server. We hit enter on this. Boom. Perfect. So it looked up the txt records for clockwork on that specific server. Now, I don't have to specify a specific server, but should give me the same results. Um, the only time this would change is if you you are migrating a domain um, and you needed to, let's say you switched and then the day before you were like, oh, I forgot to grab this. Then you could specify, oh, you know what? That old server still has those records, so let me go grab those. Um, so that's, that's how you can use NS Lookup. I hope that helps somebody. Uh, seems to be somewhat helpful. Uh, for me at least.